The historic city of Highland Park was once the jewel of the United States, or the birthplace of automotive automation. I've seen Highland Park when it was an extremely beautiful place. I remember that I woke up that morning to see a truck removing this, this huge street light. I've been a part of a lot of work that has been like saying no to things. No, you can't blow up that mountain. No, you can't steal my land to drill a gas well. No, you can't foreclose on my house. My name's Jackson Coppell. I'm the executive director of Solidarity. I've been uh, living here in Detroit and Highland Park for the last five years. It started in the fall of 2012. I was here for a summer program. I started meeting some other community activists, and they were talking about how the last year DTE had removed over a thousand streetlights. Nobody knew it was happening until there were flatbeds on their street literally pulling the lights up. I later found out that this was done as a deal of some sort to cut our electricity bill for the city. But once they did, it kind of was a pause of not knowing what to do next. It's just one of those things like you don't miss the water until the well's dry. So you just never imagined that there would not be light on your streets. And so me and a couple other guys got the idea together of like, well, let's see if we can put in a solar street light. So what have we got in front of us? So everything on these units are like completely self-contained. The batteries inside, the solar panels on the side, and the LEDs are all built into one. As long as it's in the location that can get sunlight, you're good to go. We put up the first solar street light in Highland Park at 150 Victor Street. When the first street light was placed up. It was just kind of like an epiphany moment. You know, it was like, hmm, the light came on. Literally. <laughs> Solidarity wasn't just this idea that happened in this one moment. It was an idea that evolved over years with many people putting little pieces in that became the full concept. It feels good to take that power back. We need to really focus on these 2.9 square miles and make it look like a, a really beautiful city again. By starting in that block-by-block -block way, we built the partnerships to put together the Let There Be Light proposal to actually install a thousand solar-powered streetlights and really use that as a starting point. Now let's talk about having the city be 100% clean energy powered. I think if we want to seriously challenge the status quo, we need an idea of what comes next and what we want it to look like.